from Africa for me because, you know, right from when we didn't even have instruments, you know, people just be on like the the decks or whatever and just like, what we make now is the, um, I would say, is, I, I would call it Afro pop, you know, because it's like has an, the influence from Afrobeats music and we draw inspiration from like pop records, you know, dancehall records, reggae and stuff. So it's like what we do, I would say, is like Afro pop. I would say the UK has played like a big part in the Afro pop, like getting recognition like worldwide, you know. And um, I've, I feel like that is still gonna keep going. And I feel like um, the US is catching up right now, and the rest of the world, like, music is a universal language. You don't need to understand what someone is saying to feel the music or love the music. So, like, um, for me, I feel like it's just gonna really bring this industry mainstream. You know, and um, it's still gonna do a lot. It's gonna contribute, like, it's probably take over the world because that's like everyone has a little bit of Afro, Afro pop, like, sound inspired, like, Afro beats, like, look at Drake, like, on his last album, you know, like, um, look at Alicia Keys, what she's doing right now with the sound income on that record. Like, everything is coming back home. So, I feel like uh, there's um, collaborations between Afro, Afro pop artists and, like, international artists. So, I think, like, that has really helped, like, the world paying attention. So you're it's easy for me, like, just communicating and just being friends with this guy. Because before I get in the studio, before we make a record, we have to be friends. We have to talk. We have to communicate. It's not like, oh, I have this record. Please, can you just jump on it? If I don't know you, no disrespect to anyone out there. Like, if I if I don't like feel like we can have a connection on the record and it will sound amazing, I won't do it. Skeptics, my brother Skepta has been showing me love from before I even. Be, Came like whiskey. He made that record of Drake with remix happen. Like he played that to Drake. I was like, "Yo, bro, you need to get on this. This is like the hottest record right now." And he did. So, you know, Skeptics like family. Tiny. I've known. I met Tiny like when I had my first single back home in Nigeria. So it's like for me, it's just organic. It's not. It's not any, nothing first. Just like big shout out to my friends and everyone showing me support. You were raised by a Pentecostal mother and your father practiced Islam. My mom is like Christian and my dad is Muslim and they never one time had an argument about the religion or what the kids wanted to do because my dad would be like, yo, do whatever you want. If you want to be a Muslim, cool, go to the church. If you want to go to the mosque, go to the mosque, like do whatever you like. Then it was never that. So like all I understood was love was the only thing that kept them together for so long. My parents been married for so long. My, 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 my older sister like 38. You know, my parents, they've been together through thick and thin, you know. So it's like, that has really like helped me in the way I see life, that we just need to spread more love. Like, that's all, that's it. You know, and I love my parents too. That, I love them so much, they're everything to me. I'm a family guy, so. But your parents weren't always receptive to your choice of career, right? Have they changed their mind now? For every parent, of course, like when young artists ever blow up on the scene. So my, my parents didn't even believe that there was a chance in that. So I was like, yo, just stay in school, study. We don't want you going to the studios. And my dad used to fight me every time. Like, don't go to the studio, stay at home, study. Blah, blah, blah. But, you know, like I just had like my dreams and I just followed them, man. But now my parents, you know, like, I just had to convince them by, you know, doing well in school, you know, doing my shows, making sure that they see from the outside. Like, people tell them, yo, did you see what your kid did, man? Your kid just, you know, went to the show, had like 40,000 people. That's when my dad was like, okay, maybe it's serious. And my dad had like, yo, he did a show and they had 40,000 people. Like, okay, maybe this music thing is a serious thing, you know. So and they've been so supportive of me since then. So big shout out to my parents. Like I said, I love them too much, man. And you grew up? Like, I feel like I know women so much. Like, when I sit down and have a conversation with a girl, like, I feel like I can touch, like, the inner part of you, that inside you, you know, like, that has really helped me. Because I grew up with seven sisters around me, and they were just, I've seen them fight today, I'll never talk to this guy, and tomorrow they're, they're all crazy with the guy enjoying themselves. So it's like, that has really helped me to, like, understand women, and, like, you know, women are, like, Special, special, special people. I have love for a lot of women. I probably have more female friends than guy friends. I don't even like talking to guys, to be honest. I just like, <laughs> have a whole lot of female friends, you know. So you've talked about wanting to change the global perception of both Nigeria and Africa. Tell us about that. No one has been able to take it there and show real Africa and show like 
what is about because there's so much there's so much beautiful things in africa africa is so beautiful and that's what i'm trying to do with my music now from like my videos like i'm shooting at home i'm like making sure the prints you wear in my video we have african prints in there i'm making sure i have my stuff tailored like i'm always like strategic with it you know so that the world can like see it in a great light and i feel like i can do that man and we will do that man my team i'm just blessed to be here and just play my part and contribute you know, to the music the way I know best or to the best of my abilities and just take it to where I can so that the next kids and the next generation can like benefit from this and just take it there. You know? So I'm just playing my part to be honest. I don't see this as I'm um, the leader of this new school and doing it. Nah, I'm just playing my part and making music. You know? Before now, there's never really been like that African artist that's been able to take it there if we're just being honest, like, take it there, like, 100%, like, make music, and, like, give the people the whole design, you know, so, like, um, I, I, I feel like I can do that, and I want to just take, you know, take this to, like, a level beyond me. I don't even think about it, because when I think about, like, oh, what are you trying to do with the music? Well, how do you want people to perceive that? I'm like, yo, I just want people to know that when Whiskey comes in the room, he's all about his music, he's all about his performances, he's all about his business it doesn't muck around when it comes to stuff like this i would like to be an artist that you know like i leave a legacy behind even when i'm not here people can when they see, think of african music or nigerian music they'll be like your whiskey did something you know amazing that's what i'm here to stand for i'm not here to you know i'm just here to play my part and make music man